Hey guys, Champion Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers news discussion video. I hope you're doing well this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, depending upon which time you're watching this video. Either way, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. And in today's discussion, I've got a figure to talk about and a whole bunch of different uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast stuff. So let's get right into it with a brand new Transformers collaborative Generations figure of G.I. Joe and Bumblebee. Now, honestly... Looking at the robot mode here, he doesn't look, I don't know, like me personally, I'm not a huge fan, but I know some people are going to love this because a lot of people do love G.I. Joe, me personally, it's not my cup of tea, and sitting at 68 bucks on Amazon right now, mm, I, I, I don't know. The head sculpt looks fantastic, I love the head sculpt, if they could take that head sculpt and put it on a different Bumblebee mold, I think this would be great. But I think there's going to be a lot of kibble on this figure. And it just looks a little bit on the kibbly side, in my opinion. And the, the greens don't really work all that well with B, in my opinion. Because there's only a little bit of yellow on the chest and on the arms and on the head. But the rest of it is all green. So, I mean, not my cup of tea. But I know some people will absolutely love this figure. So, I'm glad they're getting a figure this uh, rendition of Bumblebee. Uh, this kind of style. But... Me personally, it's not the best. And the little figure he comes for it, he comes with looks fine. Uh, the little human figure. I never really got into G.I. Joe or anything of that nature, but you know, uh, there's that. Uh, but taking a look at the boxing real quick, uh, the packaging honestly looks really solid. Like I like the collaborative uh, boxes they do with the G.I. Joe stuff. You know, it shows Bumblebee in his alt mode. And then the robot mode and whatnot, all the all the nice little details and stuff they put into the packaging. I'm I, I really do like. I appreciate the work they put into this. Uh, taking a look at another picture of Bumblebee in his robot mode here. Honestly, he 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 doesn't look horrible. Um, it just again is not for me. And uh, yeah, there's some people again that will absolutely love this figure. And I mean, he doesn't look bad. It's just, eh, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, you know, we got the little figure he can sit up top with his little cannon, artillery cannon, which is pretty cool. I do like that feature. I think that's pretty cool. And he looks like he's going to be fairly well articulated. We can definitely see he's got a wrist swivel in there, maybe a little bit of a waist swivel and whatnot. Uh, don't know how well posing him is going to go once you actually get the figure in hand, because again, he does look like he's going to have a considerable amount of kibble. Uh, car mode. Um, the car mode here, or the Jeep mode, or the uh, the Doom buggy mode, I should say, honestly looks really, really cool. Like This is definitely a really cool little dune buggy right here oh his the turret on top and everything looks really cool as well i really like that and the figure can sit inside and kind of drive him around which looks pretty neat and it honestly looks really good i don't really have a whole lot of fault with the uh with the, the dune buggy mode it honestly looks really well put together doesn't look like there's a lot of junk hanging off of it honestly yeah the dune buggy mode yeah wow i really do like that that dune buggy mode honestly looks really really cool yeah, and then here's just another picture of the uh, the dune buggy. Wow. Yeah, that dune buggy mode actually does really, really well. So overall, not bad looking, not bad looking. I'll definitely be curious to see some more in-hand images of it. Uh, but moving on into some Transformers Rise of the Beast stuff, we've got some artwork kind of depicting what Bumblebee will look like at the beginning of the Rise of the Beasts film. And honestly, he's looking pretty solid. I do like the artwork that's been depicted here. We can see we got Bumblebee and we've got Optimus Primal here. And honestly, I think Optimus Primal is going to be a little bit different from how this artwork looks compared to the movie. But I mean, Bumblebee, he looks pretty cool. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's kind of what I was expecting after seeing the end of the Bumblebee movie of 2018. It's kind of what I thought it would look like. But honestly, there's not a whole lot wrong with that. But the artwork for that looks pretty cool. And then moving on into, into some different Transformers news, I mentioned in my previous Transformers news video that we saw the instructions for the Optimus Primal mask. Well, we've got full uh, pictures here of the Optimus Primal mask. So this is my first look at it. And honestly, yeah, it's kind of what I was expecting a little bit. Uh, I mentioned some things in that video, and if you haven't seen it, check it in the description box below. Check it out. Uh, but honestly, I really like the instructions here. Uh, you know, they're pretty They're pretty clear for the most part. The white on yellow works really well, and I think that'll be really easy to go through and follow. So definitely got to give Hasbro credit. They're picking up their instruction stuff. They're, how they produce it's a little bit easier to follow. Yeah, honestly looking really good. 
uh, just turning the pages here, you can see all the different steps. I think it's going to be a really cool product once it's fully complete. I re I'm really kind of curious to see that. That's that's going to be a cool kind of novelty item for a lot of people. And I, I think I think it's going to be a really, really neat uh, item. So moving on, <laughs> moving on, we've got some Transformers Kids light up slipper boots for, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. We can see here, these are the Optimus Prime ones. Uh, these are really neat looking. I love the artwork for Optimus Prime. And we kind of get, I, I just now thought about this. We kind of get a first look at what Optimus Prime is going to look like in the new Bumblebee movie here. Uh, I know there's been some other artwork uh, pictures revealed that show Optimus Prime, but this is kind of my first kind of deep dive into it. Uh, my first analysis, if you will. Uh, honestly, it looks really cool. I really love the design of the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime, and I think they did a really good job on it. And I think it's going to be the same here with the new Rise of the Beast film. Uh, and they got a few different styles we can see. Here's a second picture of how it's going to, I guess, quote unquote, light up. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know why we need these kind of boots. I really do not. And then the third picture here, we can see we got a little Bumblebee one as well. Or there's Bumblebee on the side, so it's a wraparound image of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I like that idea. There's a lot of Transformers merchandise here uh, in terms of, like, physical stuff you can wear. Like the Optimus Primal Mask. We've got these boots. Um, yeah. I really, I, I really like the artwork and stuff that's going into this. I, I appreciate the artwork. So moving on, we've got... <laughs> We've got a Transformers high top shoes. These are Optimus Prime high tops. This is interesting. So I really do like the artwork of the boots. We can see, or the boots, the shoes. Uh, we can see Optimus Prime here on them. Uh, if I flip to the next picture, we kind of get the back view of them. They got a little zip up uh, zipper there. And then it's got the Transformers emblem and everything. And it's got Optimus Prime right there and then if I move to the next picture we can see it's got a little Autobot ins insignia on the uh, the top of the shoe there honestly I they, they don't look bad they do not look bad like I actually do like how they look I definitely could see that being something that could be valuable in Transformers collecting I could see some people making that a rare collector's item like it being one of those bizarre things that in like 10, 15 years, nobody can find and it's going on eBay for like a couple hundred dollars. I don't know why. I can just see that. But anyway, talking about the last of the uh, kind of Transformers uh, news here, we have a new uh, Transformers uh, pajama set from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I don't have a whole lot to say about this. Uh, the first set's got, you can see it's got Bumblebee on it, Autobots roll out. And then the bottoms have like all the, the different insignias. And then there's another top that has the Transformers Rise of the Beast logo. And then it has all the, uh, the insignias on it as well. So uh, there you have all that. Honestly, not bad. Again, the kind of like novelty uh, merchandise, I would say, more than anything. Um, but yeah, overall, everything that we've seen uh, as of late is honestly really neat. But guys, I want to know what you think about all of this new Transformers news down in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champa Productions, signing off.